I have been in McKinney for quite some time, and I can remember when Meals on Wheels began in 1976 or 77 with Norman Sesson. And there was a lot of questions about why we needed such a, uh, why, did, why do we need these services, you know? And so therefore, it, it, it was really hard to, to get it going and to keep it going. And it's been a struggle, I'm sure. But it is very important to serve those people in our community who have served us. Well, Collin County, as you know, is growing very rapidly and our senior population is growing rapidly also. Um, I think we are experiencing uh, a significant amount of food insecurity, a significant of isolation, amount of isolation among our elderly population. And I think that's where Meals on Wheels really sort of plugs the gaps. So I learned about Meals on Wheels I would say 1990, in between 1990 and 1991. So Christmas Eve of 1989, my dad was injured. Um, and once he was injured, it deemed him paralyzed. And so it was a big impact on our family. Um, he moved in, so after doing rehab for about a year, he ended up uh, moving in with his mom, which is my granny, she had become um, his caregiver along with my mom helping and it was just hard just you know when you're taking care of kids and family and trying to prepare a meal and trying to wrap your mind around what you know took place so it was a very it was very impactful to our family and so the social worker at the hospital um, introduced us to Meals on Wheels and so Meals on Wheels would bring a meal Monday through Friday to our door and my grandmother, you know, instead of her trying to prepare a meal, she was able to give my dad that meal and we just kind of really just focused on him and what he needed. So he was on Meals on Wheels for a few years and so once the family, you know, got acclimated to the change um, due to the traumatic event, then she was able to, you know, start back cooking again, but Meals on, Meals on Wheels stood in the gap. Some of the seniors that we're working with right now, if we're not there to provide the services that we do, may very well pass away. Our mission is to keep seniors in their homes, in their families, and in their communities. If we don't provide the services that we do, many of the seniors will become institutionalized much earlier. Sometimes they live off of fixed incomes, and there are times after paying bills that they do not have anything else like for food or additional items uh, that we do provide here. We are more than just a meal, so we do provide other items as well. You know, a lot of the seniors don't have family here. Um, they love when we do the well checks. This is us calling and checking on them and see how they're doing or if there's anything that they need. And then it works well for us when clients are like, we enjoy giving them what they need, whether if it's incontinence supplies or some may call about transportation. And when we find the resources for them, we do the legwork. So we're calling, we're making sure that it's meeting their need instead of giving the senior a list of people to call. We try to assist as much as possible to make it easier for the seniors because when it's complicated, then they tend to shy away from that and we don't want them to shy away from any services that they can receive. I've been with Meals on Wheels almost 20 years. I started with Meals on Wheels. I heard about it through uh, some organization and they told me about it and I applied for it and I started getting it. Different things, personal hygiene, uh, other things, uh, clothing, uh, you name it, stamps. I get everything. They make sure I get everything I need and not going to be without nothing. I appreciate it. When you reach this age, when you reach 71 like I am, you need the nutritional meals. You need them every day. You can't go without eating. You got to eat good food, nutritional food, and that's what they deliver, nutritional food. And it's great. I love it. I got involved with Meals on Wheels because I wanted one to be of service and I wanted my dog to be of service as well. And so I have a border collie named Cinnamon, and Cinnamon would go with me on deliveries and she would do tricks outside of their homes while I delivered meals. Generally, our route took about three hours, but it was so worth it because it brought so much joy to so many people. 
What I would wish people would know more about Meals on Wheels is, is how easy it is to volunteer. Many people who I talk to think if you sign up to volunteer as a delivery, uh, deliverer of meals, you're signing up for a five day a week job for a year. And the reality is you can serve, uh, you can, you can uh, distribute uh, one meal or, or one set of meals a week, uh, every other week or once a month. So I think the word we need to get out is that we can fit anybody's lifestyle and calendar to volunteer. Um, we cannot do what we do without our volunteers. Uh, and that's, that's the bottom line. Um, it's, I always encourage our volunteers, if they have children, to bring their children along with them. I encourage them to deliver meals because our clients do like to see young children. A lot of them live far away from their family, so they probably don't get to see their grandchildren on a regular basis, maybe only once every six months, sometimes once a year. Sometimes, you know, it's even longer than that. I enjoy being here and I just want everyone else who comes through the door to enjoy being here and we like to make it a memorable experience for them. No matter what, my volunteers, I know each one of them name by name, day by day. I love them. They love me. They go above and not below, above every way, everything, every standard. I mean, they there every day. At 11 a.m. today was my Monday volunteer, Miss Oma. Miss Oma's going to be there every day, every Monday, every Tuesday. It's uh, Miss uh, uh, Miss uh, Barbara, and uh, then I got Mr. Russ, then I got Mr. Rick, I got them all. And Miss Gail, I mean, all of them, they going to show up for Mr. Wilson. The amount of benefit, self-benefit, and reward you get is so much beyond the service that you're doing, right? It just, it truly impacts your life well beyond whatever volunteer position that you're doing, because it's just, it's a beautiful thing. It's a fabulous organization, and other than the organization, the clients are just in, an, in a space of need, and it can be fulfilled, right? And it is so heartwarming to be able to go out and see the smiles on people's faces, faces, right? As you're delivering meals and making that connection with them and they become part of your family. Knowing uh, that I can keep elderly people in their own homes and to, so that they don't have to go into a nursing home or into the hospital that, um, you know, they're, they're still being a little more self-sufficient than what they would be if they had to go into a nursing home. I have this little lady that lives not too far from here. Um, she is one that I go to or if I just need somebody to talk to, I just I will just go to her. Just Sometimes you just need those words of wisdom from someone older um, who's experienced life. So um, just talking about life and just faith. <laughs> I deliver to this one house, I'm not going to say the name, I um, deliver to this one house and she has become such a great friend of mine and she has so much joy and the, the extension of the delivery has become family, right? And it comes to the point where I take her, now take her out to lunch myself, right? And um, we often have family gatherings together. You know, and it's that sense of community that I would have never met this angel, ever met this angel, until I did Meals on Wheels. And I, I am so much, so much a better person for that because she just has sparked my life, right? And just because I was delivering a meal, right? It's just a beautiful thing. I think it's very important to be accountable as a nonprofit. And I think it's uh, what people are expecting and I think it gives them um, confidence that the money that they give is being utilized for the right purposes. Because often we see that is not the case. Now I like to donate to Meals on Wheels because it is a local charity, a local nonprofit. And with that I can see where my money goes 
and I see that it's doing good for the community. And the community is really McKinney for me, but Collin County as a whole. We need to be trusted, and we are felt, I believe, based on our accountability and our outcomes, we have proven that we have great impact. Now that we have that, I believe that we need to be able to understand the capacity within this county and be able to ramp up our services, but also have the wisdom in terms of where we put our dollars for a greater return on our investments. If you are a nonprofit and you don't have the outcomes that you need to be able to show the donors or your partners or those champions that have supported your mission, that you are making a difference, that you're good stewards over their money and good stewards over their support, then you really need to rethink your mission. Uh, we have a lot of needs, uh, but we have proven ourselves capable. Uh, when you look at the number of meals we prepare and serve each day, the number that we do over a year's period of time, the reality is if you're gonna contribute to a nonprofit organization, I think you want to make sure that they're the real deal, that they really can pull off the mission that their statement says. The proof's in the pudding. There is a great group of people that work at Meals on Wheels, and they're very dedicated to the cause, um, and quite frankly, the environment that we ask them to work in is not the greatest. There are very few windows in the building. Uh, the building is at least 50 years old um, and it, it either needs a serious overhaul or we need a new building um, and I'm in favor of a new building and also we have done such a good job in the last few years of bringing in volunteers and especially corporate volunteers and the environment that we bring them into I'm not particularly proud of because of the way the building looks and I think it's important um, for those folks, as, in addition to our volunteers, to have a good positive experience um, in the aesthetics of where they work. Um, so those two things are important, but they all feed into the fact that our clients are going to be better served if the folks that are who work here and the folks who volunteer here um, are more comfortable in a more comfortable environment. So that's why I feel very strongly about the new building. The number one thing that affects our ability to grow is our capacity to serve. Our capacity to serve is connected to our ability to serve, which is our space. Our space needs in this organization, we are at max at this time. We will need a building or more space so we can double the meals that we're serving. The need is greater. We believe that we are serving at least half of the need in, in the county. Um, and we believe that we can double the meals that we're serving. Um, we can go from 1,500 meals uh, to 3,000 meals easily um, over the next couple years or the next year. And, uh, but we believe with, the, with the, a new building or new space, we can go to 4,000 meals. The future of Meals on Wheels in Collin County is very important. It is important because the county is changing and has been changing and will continue to change and grow and prosper, but not everyone prospers. Therefore, we need to have services such as this, especially for the seniors, who I say are the unseen people in their homes who need food to, in some ways, survive. I have been to some places, to some homes, and talked to some people. And one of the interesting things that I have found is that they will give some of their food to their pets, to their cat or dog, before they will eat it themselves. It is that important to them. That is all they have. And so to me, it's, it's vitally important that we keep this program going for the seniors, for what it provides, um, we often forget that people have given their life, and some people have been very successful what they've done, and some people haven't, but it doesn't really matter. The point is they're seniors, and assistance is what they need. I have known several people who have had the services of Meals on Wheels, and it has 
really saved their life. And the other thing is that I'm very strong on getting donated pet food to them so that they can eat the food that, that Meals on Wheels provides and that the animal can have food. And, and an animal is a companion and it's so important for seniors. They are very, can be very lonely. And I myself am a senior. <laughs> and so I understand much better, have always had a love for seniors. And now that I am a senior, it is so much more important to me the services of Meals on Wheels. I donate because people appreciate a, a gift that keeps on giving. And that's what this does. And I have never had anybody say to me, oh, they always say, what a wonderful idea to give to Meals on Wheels. I never thought about that. So I have tried to encourage people that way. And, and doing that. I would like for Mills on Wheels Collin County to be known for hope. I would like Mills on Wheels Collin County to be the face that our county and this country sees as representing a population that is so easily forgotten and that we become their voice, we become their legs, their arms, their eyes and ears when they can't. We're still there for them. And when they can't speak, we'll speak for them. We deserve to be able to give them respect that they need because of what they have done for us, for our county, to help build this county, our families. It's time for them to be served. They're kings and queens and they deserve royalty. I want people to envision their involvement as an opportunity to not change a life, but to save a life. And I want them to know that they are part of a greater, but not only greater, but a necessary movement within this county and within this country. And that they can make a difference within just one hour with them, them or their family, or whoever they, they come to volunteer with, they can make an impact and what they do will literally change a life and we can prove it. I envision much more. Envision more!